ladies and gentlemen, I am Nitsashi Yuki, and we are going to be playing a game today! Silent Hill for the PlayStation on the PS3, because I don't have a PlayStation anymore. Well, I do, but I don't, and I do, and it's, you know, um, basically I'm playing through Silent Hill Shadow Memories, as, um, plenty of you are aware, I guess, if I have any viewers at all. And apparently there are violent and disturbing images in this game. And I figured I'd go ahead and record a run of Silent Hill alongside it. So we're going to see the old and the new. Starting with the new because I've already got that, like, you know, very, very much done. And oh my gosh, I need to mute something. Because I... My computer's not the best, and it's playing skippy, skippy, skip audio, and that's because it's recording. When it records, it uses a lot of my computing power. Um, almost all of it, to be honest, so, yeah, we, I shouldn't be doing much of anything else but recording, but I am uploading a Shattered Memories video, the last of the ones I have up, I have recorded right now. So after I'm done with all this, I'm gonna have to go back and do more. Um, so I'll be commenting on the things I don't like in this, and I do like in this in comparison to that. Uh, we'll be seeing different things, because the games are very different. Um, it's surprising how different they are when you come down to it. And it's the same basic story when you start it, but as it continues on it gets really, really different, I guess. And, well, it starts off really, really different. Uh, it has the same basic idea that, um, basically, you are Harry Mason, the father of this girl who gets lost in Silent Hill, but the plots pretty much change differently entirely from that point onward. So, let's have this cop person pass us because, wait, wait, show the road again. Okay. Okay, I thought there weren't any passing lines, I thought there weren't a lot to pass, it's like, no, you can't pass. Actually, I think they can't pass. I think it's illegal to pass because the only reason... The yeah, yeah, I was right. They don't have the dotted lines. It's illegal to pass the that, that road. But I guess they're cops, so it doesn't matter for them. Stinking cop, being able to do whatever they want. <laughs> um, the first thing I guess we can notice is the introductions are just vastly different. Um, vastly. There's almost nothing like this introduction in the um, Shadow Memories version. And the music is a lot more haunting. I like that a lot. Anyway. First, let us check the options. Because I want to check brightness settings and stuff. Brightness level version. There it is. Um, I want to make it so that the lines are visible on my... Darn it, I can't get it any higher. Well, they're barely visible, but... I want it to be so they're visible on my TV program. Um, because it records things a lot darker than my TV has things. I don't know how or why. Anyway, start. Normal. And the game begins. We wake up in a car that has crashed. And it's still FMV sequences. It really is amazing when you think about how different we do things in games now, how most stuff in game is done with the in game engine and whatnot. Whereas nowadays it's all. Wait, that is nowadays. Back then it was all pre rendered stuff. And there it is the beautifully ugly graphics of <laughs> Silent Hill 1. Uh, it hasn't really aged well in my opinion, in any way, shape, or form, but let's find out what happens next. Let's figure out the controls here first, because that's what I like to do early on. The control stick moves you. You have pretty much tank, tank-like controls here, where you're pressing up, walks you backward, backs up, and left and right rotates. And after that, we have the square button, which does nothing, the X button, which does nothing, the circle button, which does nothing, and the triangle button, which goes into your status menu. 
And right now you can see your status is green. The little glowing health thing is basically your health bar. And stuff. And you save your equipment here, but right now you have nothing. Number one through eight. Uh, we can also go to options, which is the same thing as we saw earlier. And we can also pretty much go to map, which we don't have a map yet. See, the options are pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, let's see what the controller config looks like. Okay, so enter is X, which is pretty much, you know, your action button. Oh, it says action there, too. Um, aiming is R2. Light is circle, which means you have a flashlight you can turn on and off, I guess. Running is square. Viewing, L2. I wonder what that means. Step left, step right, L1, R1. Pause, and the standard pause button. And the items men menu is there, and there's a shortcut key to the map. Okay. Now that we've done the control stuff. Let's go this way. And we are holding down it, and it runs and whatnot. And there's a lot of snow falling down, but also a lot of fog. That's one thing the new Silent Hill doesn't have, is fog. And it's worse off for it. Uh, here's the Jeep that we were riding in. My car. It's a Jeep, not a car. Too banged up to drive. There's Cheryl. I hope she's safe. We all hope she's safe. Yep. We hope she's safe too, Harry. We hope she's safe too. So let's keep running and running through the fog. And now we get a little cutscene. Footsteps. Oh my gosh, footsteps. And we see a little girl in the fog. Walking with... in the fog. Is that Cheryl? Cheryl? She's running off. Now, I like this introduction a heck of a lot better than the Shattered Memories one. Where are you going? Because it teases you the Cheryl thing here. Wait, stop. And it's a lot, lot more creepy. Um the game itself doesn't stay creepy, I'd say, but um at least it tries. And I think it has better atmosphere than the Shadow Memories does, because Shadow Memories cripples its atmosphere by making everything, you know, safe. Except when things ice over. So, now we're going down this alleyway. I wish they would have done this in the original, and they, this is the original. I wish they would have done this in Shadow Memories, because this was the, the most mem mem yeah. Prepare yourself for speaking before you do a Let's Play. Ahem. Most memorable thing that all the game had for me. As of this playthrough, I actually haven't finished the game, so I hope I can actually beat it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, we've entered this area, and suddenly everything goes all dark. It's getting darker, so we use a light. It's not a flashlight, it's like a match or lighter. And woo, it's all dark. There's a wheelchair. The wheel is spinning. And down here we have a hospital stretcher thing. Is something on that? What's this? I don't want to pull back the sheets. And as we keep moving, we see more blood and stuff and guts and icky icky. Uh, Silent Hill, the original Silent. One thing I, yeah, one thing I do like about Shadow Memories is the lack of blood. Um, that it's trying to do other stuff, mess with our heads rather than being icky gross like icky gross here. Ew 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 ew. All disgusting. Ew. And we see a person! What's or mummy, because it does not really look like a person, it looks like a mummy. Someone raided the local museum and- Oh my gosh, there are evil things, run away! 
Oh, oh no, they got me! Oh, I'm dead. Oopsie, no. Exit. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh no, I'm not dead yet. Run away! Run away! No, there's more of them! Get off me! No! Running! And now I am dead. You can't escape the death in that part. Basically. You have to die. Then a cutscene begins. Harry wakes up in a bar place? Maybe he just fainted. There's a cop going high. And just simultaneously disappearing. Because that's what cops do, they disappear. Oh no, they're right here. Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. You haven't been run over by a truck. Right, just by monster things grabbing you and Glad hitting you, you or something. You from around here? Why don't you tell I can't me? tell you what happened because we don't know what happened. All we know is that there were Wait some a second. I'm just a tourist. creatures. I came here for a vacation. Okay, got that doesn't really explain. This <laughs> doesn't really explain what he's not telling her. What happened. That's the answer she should put it out at first. I'd like to find out myself. It's the bad voice acting curse of the 1990s. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month. Just Short turned seven. Here. So I think the design of the um, my daughter. Now the daughter is different too, because I don't think she had black hair in the remake. No, I think she was brown hair. I've seen in this town is you. Hmm. Where Could is she have been the mic cop? I tell you if I Because her bike crashed. Me. Hmm. From what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. Yes, bizarre things are happening. That's all I know. Very bizarre things. Harry. Name. Harry Mason. Harry Mason. Yep. Sybil Bennett. Not Harry Potter. So this is Sybil, which Sybil explains why we meet her in Diner in the Town remake, Town. because we meet her in a Dimer here. Dimer? Dimer? Diner. Diner. Stop butchering English. You speak English. You don't speak any other language except stupid. So don't speak stupid. People do not pay to speak stupid, though they're not paying you at all. Going. To go play the game! My daughter. I've gotta find her. <laughs> the voice acting is so it's terrible. Dangerous it's there. dangerous out there. There's nothing. In it's just case, fog. I need to find her now. She's Cheryl's my girl. My I need girl. to find her. And we're running low on time. I hope this speeds up. Can't just leave her out there by herself. Oh, uh, we got two minutes, so Have this looks like we're wrapping up. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I know this is a video game, but cops do not randomly hand over firearms to civilians. I'm pretty sure it was illegal in 1990s, and I'm pretty sure it's legal now. Cops don't do that. Um, yeah, and guess who would be responsible if we went around shooting people? You. Guess who I can go ahead and shoot you? Yeah, don't go blast me by mistake. If I blast you by mistake, you'd be dead. That's what bullets do. Yeah, thanks. Okay, stop ranting. Stop ranting. <laughs> you do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. No, you won't, because I'm gonna be leaving as quick as I can. In the next video, because now we've gotten this introduction, we're gonna explore the diner. Next time. See ya.